The discovery of a small skull in South Africa a century ago changed our understanding of human evolution forever. This fossil, known as the Taung Child, was the first evidence confirming that humans originated in Africa. But just how old is this remarkable find? A new study has finally pinpointed its age at 2.58 million years old. The Taung Child, named after its discovery site, was first described by anatomist Raymond Dart in 1924. Dart recognized it as a new species, which he called Australopithecus Africanus. This finding supported Charles Darwin's theory that apes and humans shared a common ancestor. Since then, more Australopithecus fossils have been found in South Africa, particularly at Sterkfontein in the Cradle of Humankind. However, dating these fossils has been a subject of intense debate among researchers. Some estimate the Sterkfontein fossils to be between 3.4 and 3.7 million years old, while others argue they are much younger, between 2 and 2.6 million years old. This controversy stems from the different dating methods used by researchers. Some rely on biochronology, comparing South African fossils to well-dated East African specimens. Others use cosmogenic nuclei dating, analyzing elements in the surrounding rock. Each team has published articles rejecting the other's methods, leaving the scientific community divided. Now, a new approach may help resolve this long-standing debate. Researchers have developed a method that examines the fossil teeth of hominins directly. By analyzing the ratios of length and breadth in lower first molars, they created an equation to estimate the age of fossils. This technique was first applied to well-dated East African hominin fossils, and then used to estimate the age of South African specimens. Using this innovative method, the researchers dated the Taung child to 2.58 million years ago. They also applied their technique to other Australopithecus fossils from Makapans Gat, another important South African site, estimating their ages at around 3 million years old. Interestingly, when applied to the Sterkfontein fossils, the new method suggests a wider age range than previously thought, spanning from about 2 million to 3.5 million years. This result encompasses the age estimates proposed by both opposing teams in the dating debate. The implications of accurate dating extend beyond just putting a number on these ancient fossils. It could help answer crucial questions about human evolution, such as identifying the region where our genus, Homo, originated. Was it in South Africa or East Africa? While this new method provides valuable insights, the quest for definitive dating of these ancient human relatives continues. As with any scientific endeavor, Further studies using different approaches will likely follow. Each new piece of evidence brings us closer to understanding our distant past and the roots of human evolution. The story of the Tang child and the ongoing efforts to determine its age highlight the complex nature of paleoanthropology. As we uncover more fossils and develop new dating techniques, we continue to refine our understanding of human origins. The journey of discovery that began a century ago with a small skull in South Africa is far from over, reminding us that science is an ever-evolving quest for knowledge about our ancient past.